Hi. So welcome to Contrast's Jenkins plugin integration. Um, mind you, obviously, you could sit Contrast within a Jenkins build without having to use the plugin. The plugin will allow you to pass or fail builds, uh, so you see fit, right? And it's pretty easy setup. You'll grab the Jenkins plugin via the Git repo within our docs page. That will allow you to essentially put the API keys that you have within your given instance of team server and from there you could say whether you'd like it to pass or fail builds and now to actually get into jenkins right um, so for example scroll down to the bottom here so automatically you could put contrast in any jenkins build and in this scenario via maven ops we're grabbing the contrast jar file we're naming the server we're doing some metadata like the job name and the build number here and variety with some other things and this will essentially start a PowerShell that will run an acceptance test that we have for this given application. And if we scroll down to the bottom some more, you'll see that this is where the contrast plugin comes in handy, where you can essentially pass or fail builds, right? And here, obviously, application name, you could base it on different severities um, and the count level, how many you'd like to find. You could set up these are the severities there, obviously, the ones that tied directly to contrast, different vulnerability types, and you could set a variety of other thresholds along the way as well. You could just keep on hitting add, however you many you see fit. So now to actually run the build with contrast. Um, in this scenario here, as you saw within me going through the vulnerability thresholds, that I have set it up to find one high vulnerability. If contrast funds one high, fail the build in this scenario. So I'm going to hit build now. and to, to make sure that you guys don't think I'm doing any type of magic, I'm going to show this screen here alongside this screen right now. Because right now we have zero vulnerabilities. Um, we're going to come back to this and you'll see some vulnerabilities found shortly. Oh, hi, welcome back. So here you see that we have had set a threshold up for one high vulnerability. We found seven, hence why we failed to build in this instance, right? So let's go over to contrast now, but hit refresh. And you will see that all these vulnerabilities that we had found just with that acceptance test that we had just ran. And obviously I, for most of you, if you had seen the JIRA integration, if we had the JIRA integration set up, we it would be auto-generating tickets along the way um, for this specific instance if you had set it up. And 
Just to reiterate that contrast yet again is not attacking your application. This is piggybacking off your already functional testing or acceptance tests that you may have. You see here and you're getting the same amount of detail that you would have seen with manually testing the app as well. So thank you for your time. Let me know if you have any other questions.